Hello, in this video we will be simplifying radicals. We have a square root of 80. So the goal is to factor out the greatest perfect square from 80 or we can factor 80 and see if whether or not we can get a perfect square root out of the factors. So let's factor 80 and we can break down 80 as 8 times 10. 8 can be broken down into 2 times 4. 10 can be broken down into 2 times 5. And we can break down 4 into 2 times 2. So 4 factors of 2 and 1 factor of 5 are making up the number 80. So let's make a perfect square. We have 2 factors of 2 from here. And we have two factors of two from here. Any factor that has a pair is a perfect square. So perfect square is two times two times two times two, which is 16. And what is left? We have a factor of five that is left over. On this step, we break down the radical into perfect square factor times the leftover whatever is left, whatever factors did not have a matching pair. So we are going to rewrite 80 as 16, which is a perfect square, times 5, which is a leftover. So we have square root of 80. We are going to break the radical. In the left radical, we're going to write down 16. And in the right radical, we're going to write down 5. Whatever's left over goes on the right. So now we have square root of 16 times square root of 5. Let's rewrite 16 in terms of a second power. And we get square root of 16 is 4 to the second times square root of 5. Now we have square root of 4 to the second times square root of 5 square root and the second power will cancel because they are inverses and we get 4 times radical of 5 left over so 4 square root of 5 is our solution in this example we have to simplify cube root of 40 we need to rewrite 40 in terms of a cube root so we need to factor 40 and see if we have three matching factors so let's rewrite 40 as 4 times 10. Then 4 can be rewritten as 2 times 2. These are prime. We can rewrite 10 as 2 times 5. So now we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. So 40 can be rewritten as we have 3 factors of 2. So 2 to the third times 5. So let's break cube root of 40 as cube root of a cube times cube root of whatever's left over. Whatever factors were fewer than 3. So we are going to rewrite cube root of 40 as cube root of 2 to the third times cube root of 5. Cube root and the cube power will cancel and we get 2 times cube root of 5. So 2 cube root of 5 is our solution. In this example we have to simplify fourth root of 32. So let's list all of the factors of 32. 32 is 2 times 16, 2 is prime. 16 is 2 times 8. 8 is 2 times 4. And 4 is 2 times 2. So 32 can be rewritten as 2 to the 5th power. However, we need to break down this 4th root as 4th root of base to a 4th power or anything that is divisible by 4 times 4th root of whatever is left. We cannot divide 5 by 4 but we can rewrite 2 to the 5 as 2 to the 4th times 1 more 2 and we will get 2 to the 5 back. So let's rewrite 4th root of 32 as 4th root of 2 to the 4th times the leftover of 4th root 
of two. Fourth root and the fourth power will cancel and we get two times fourth root of two. So two times fourth root of two is our solution. In this example, we need to simplify 200x to the second times y. So we need to rewrite this expression in terms of perfect squares because we need to rewrite this as a square root of perfect square times square root of whatever is left. Let's find the perfect square of 200. We can factor 200 as 2 times 100. 2 is a prime. 100 can be rewritten as 10 times 10. So this is a perfect square of 10 to the second. So 200 can be rewritten as 10 to the second times the leftover of 2. Let's break the radical. So we have perfect square on the right always and leftover on the left. And we are breaking 200 as 10 to the second times 2. This will give us 200 back. The next item is x to the second. This is already as a perfect square because it has a second power. So we don't need to factor it. We can just put it into the left radical. So we have 10 to the second times x to the second. y has a power of 1. It does not have a second power. We have no way of rewriting it in terms of a second power. So y has to be left over. So it will go into the right radical with the 2. We have 2 times y. So now we have square root of 10 to the second, x to the second, times square root of 2y. In a perfect square root, you can factor out the second power and cancel the root. Or we can take 10 to the second, x to the second, and divide both powers by 2. We can apply the rational exponents rule times square root of 2y. Either way, the exponents will simplify into 1, and we get 10x times square root of 2y as our solution. That's all.